Hey there everyone, I'm going to talk to you about understanding a working drawing and turning a piece of material into a bottle opener using some basic engineering tools. The first thing we've got to do is pay attention to this 100 just here. So this piece of material that we've got is slightly over 100. It's got quite a nasty sharp burr on the end just there where it's been cut off by the mechanical saw. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that it's in tolerance. Um, tolerance is where you have a piece of material that has to be the right size but within a certain amount so where it can be a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger but it will still be okay for the functionality of our part it's quite not not that important to us with our bottle opener because it's not going to connect to other components but if we were making a formula one car um or we, we were working in engine production then we would need our tolerance to be much much um closer and our work to be much more accurate so um the first thing you've got to do is take a steel ruler. In the workshop, our steel rulers start at zero. So you need to be aware that plastic rulers don't start at zero. That's quite important because that sometimes can affect how you mark out. And I'm going to start from the slightly neater edge, the edge without the burr. And I'm just going to line my steel ruler up right on the edge of that work. Some people like to butt it up against a, a, another object, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm going to do that. And then when I've got to... 10, 10 centimetres, that's going to be 100 millimetres. And I'm just going to mark that out like that so that I've got a mark. And there's our 100 millimetres there. And these lines indicate that it's 100 from one side to the other. So you can see my material or my object is slightly bigger. Once I've marked that bit out, I'm going to take an engineer's square. There's an engineer's square just there. You can see that. When I hold my engineer's square, I need to make sure the stock is flat against the material. It's a bit tricky. Um, I usually pull with my fingers just here and then pinch at the top, but working flat works just as, as good. And I'm going to line that engineer square up with the edge of that material and then with my scribe, this is a scribe, I'm just going to make a nice deep line. Sometimes we use blue where we colour our object blue beforehand so that the lines show up a lot more clearly. But this has got quite a lot of corrosion on it and I can just about see that line just there. And that's enough for me to work with. If I made a really deep dent or a really um, you know, a deep line in the material, a deep scratch, that might be a problem for me and my quality later on. So I've just got that little scratch there and that's what I'm going to work to. See you in the next video.